If you're anything like me, you have extra craft supplies on hand, projects in progress. I have paint, I have greenery, I have got beads, wooden beads, I've got ribbons. I've just got all the things to make the projects, but I don't always use them. So this video is all about crafting your stash and we're gonna get started right now. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I had these little, these were actually like Barbie carrying cases or something. I had them in my stash because I was gonna make, personalize them for my nieces and my granddaughters. And I thought this video could be all about like last minute gifts that are easy to make. And I wish I could tell you this one was super easy to make, but it really wasn't. <laughs> I struggled a lot with it. I mean, I got it in the end and it, and it got faster at the end, but trying to layer on the letters, I was using the um, paper transfer tape that I got from Expressions Vinyl and it's hard to see, it's hard to layer it. And I didn't really watch, um, I got this idea from Whiskey and Wit, Whitney over at Whiskey and Wit, and I didn't really watch her video to see how she did it. So I was just kind of winging it. And some of the times I was having to just put the letter on myself and not really transfer it with the parchment paper. But the idea is you put down the piece of parchment paper and then you can put the, see this Cricut vinyl does not want to transfer to the transfer tape. It was really, it was, I was on the struggle bus. So I finally got it where, see me trying to line it up. It's, I just was, I was struggling y'all. And I was, and then, see, I'm putting on a letter one by one. I was putting on the letters, but I actually did get it to work towards the end of me trying. I forget how many I made of these, like eight or nine of them. And towards the end, it did start to transfer like I wanted it to, but I was just taking, I was just having to take my time a lot more, but this is how it turned out. I did make one for myself. I think it turned out super cute, but I just wouldn't recommend the Cricut vinyl because like I said, y'all, it just was not transferring and it made it a little bit harder, but the, you could find these pouches. You can find containers at the Dollar Tree. You can find notebooks and you can personalize these personalize these, and they would make awesome Christmas gifts or just really gifts for any occasion. I've had these wooden spoons in my stash for about a billion years, or at least it feels like that. So what I was doing was, I think I've, I've seen Whiskey and Whit do this too, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm just putting on some little washi tape on the end and then I'm going to paint them and I'm painting them with a darker green color and black because I want it to be kind of not holiday specific, but more holiday neutral. Like you could do this for any occasion really. And so I'm just wrapping them up and then I'm painting on the colors and I'm doing two green and I'm going to do two black just to kind of show you some options that you could have. After the paint is dry, I remove the washi tape and then I'm going to add some jute twine. I just wrap the jute twine around, I don't know, five or six times and I tie a little bow on it. But how you can kind of cater it to or customize it to a holiday is by adding the little ribbon you add on top. You can add these spoons to a little gift bag, add a little box of bread mix, or you could add like cookie mix and maybe some cute cookie cutters, put some little tissue paper in there. You've got a really great gift that's easy and affordable to make. Okay, this next one. I used to make photo clips for each holiday, each season of the year. And so I decided to kind of make them all the same. <laughs> so I could just keep them up year round because as much as I like changing them out, I would forget and I would have them up for like Easter and it would be like New Year's Day. So anyways, I just took these hearts. I got these off of Amazon and I'm painting them all black and you can paint them any color you want that matches your decor and fits your style. I'm taking these clothespins that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be gluing them on and I'm not using hot glue. I'm going to be using E6000. And so I just take them and put them, make sure that you've got the clip pointing the right way because I've done that before where I've glued them on and they they were going the wrong way. This is how they turned out. Now I haven't completed all of them yet, but this would make a really great gift idea to have photo clips and then attach your favorite photos. And you could personalize this again for any 
home decor color or style as well as you could decorate it for the seasons all right y'all here is a super easy one i'm taking this glass plate that i got from dollar tree and i'm actually trying to measure it because i'm going to be cutting out a snowflake and i need to remove the sticker that's on the bottom i always remove that even if i'm not even if you're not going to see it or it's going to get covered up i always remove that i just like to so i'm reverse weeding which just means i'm taking out the inside part <laughs> because i'm going to be using this as a stencil and the snowflake is pretty easy to weed so it, it wasn't too intricate of a design so then i use it my transfer tape to transfer it to the bottom of the plate and then i'm using some blue painter's tape to kind of cover up any spots where it might be near the edge and i'm taking some etching cream that i got from hobby lobby and i'm layering it generously on so you can see how thick it is i let mine sit for a good i mean it says i think 10 minutes to let it sit, but i let mine set for about i don't know probably almost 30. anyway that's how it turns out and so the top side is food safe and you could put any little type of treats on it and share it with a friend. When taking some rubbing alcohol, I got that little decanter thing from Dollar Tree. Anyways, I'm taking some rubbing alcohol and I wiped off that glass ornament. I got those from Hobby Lobby and I had made some crystal balls back in at Halloween time and they turned out so cute. But anyway, I had one left over and so I thought, oh, I'm gonna make like a Grinch themed ornament because I have some other stuff that's left over. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, I made this decal with my Cricut and I'm just applying it ever so carefully to the glass ball. And I messed up a little bit. There's like one little spot that I got to put back on, but it actually transferred pretty easily. So I was happy about that. But y'all, I got those stupid foam beads. <laughs> those things, like they get static and then they don't like just pour. They like stick to stuff. And so I try to make like a little funnel and get, you can see them, they're getting everywhere. And it's just, it's like ridiculous. <laughs> It's like, I don't, I can't even explain it, but I was just trying to do a craft with them so I could use them up because I'm like, I'm not buying these again. This was not worth it to me. And I don't mean to be all womp womp, but they were just messy. So then I tried to put the, the little um, thing back in, the, the ornament top, and then <laughs> it got stuck down. It, it popped down into the ornament ball, so I lost it. I was like... See, that's just like, that's just great. And I've got the, all these little foam beads flying everywhere. But I made the best of it. I took some jute twine and made a little loop there, as you can see. And then I'm just trying to take some E6000 so that I can glue down the topper to the ornament to that glass ornament box. I don't need that opening up and then the beads just flying everywhere. I mean, like they were stuck in my hair. They were on the floor. It was just really. <laughs> so we're just about done. I'm going to wrap it up. And I had to remember, like, there was yellow in his eyes, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I look it up online just to make sure. And then I take my yellow paint pen and I kind of fill in where his eyes are. I have to wipe off just a little bit because kind of got, got in a place where I didn't want it. Anyway, fix that up. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out really good, even though I, like, I really don't like those foam beads. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell or not, but I don't like those. Oh gosh, y'all, they just got everywhere. Anyways, it turned out really super cute. I love it. I just love it. I don't even know what else to say. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I hope I inspired you on some of these projects to see how easy it is to create some beautiful DIYs that are awesome enough to share with a friend or give us a Christmas gift, or a birthday gift, or any time of year. Any, you don't have to have a reason to give a gift. You can just give a gift. And so, um, I don't know what else to say, so I will just say thank you again. Check out my other videos that I've got linked here. And if you want to follow me on other social media like Instagram or TikTok or here on YouTube, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye! Don't forget... All the links are in the description box below. Bye.